Hello there everyone. Today's the solstice, today and tomorrow, and these are the longest days of the year where we celebrate more light than we ever have, and it's a great celebration. I'm gonna give you a quick reading today, just so that this video is available for more people to have a look at, and see it, I hope you relate in some way or another. So here's the reading that popped out today. We have um, four, four cards, the Page of Wands, the Hangman Reversed, the King of Swords, and the Two of Cups. So the Page of Wands comes along as if it's um, this youthful part of us that is uh, feeling more passion, more creativity to maybe start something new in our lives, maybe uh, experience something new, experiment something new, bring more purpose into our life, bring more of our passion for spiritual growth and sharing our spirituality and creativity in one way or another. Maybe that's part of what's going on in our lives right now. If it is, there is a natural stage of germination where the seed needs to take time underneath the ground before you actually see any proof that um, the, this perfect purpose is, is ready to manifest and the hangman represents a little bit of patience. If you have issues with patience, if you want something to manifest right now, if your passion and fire wants to light, light a flame and wants to burn through life and your creativity wants things to grow right here, right now, yeah, everything is growing. It's growing really fast right now in, in, in this world, in our lives, because this is the longest day. But there is still a patient time that's needed. There's still the germination time. There's still a time where we need to understand that readjustments take, you know, don't happen overnight. Readjustments need to take place through an organic process of transformation and, tran and transmutation. And the King of Swords will help us because he's that old wise person that inside of us who knows the truth, who knows, hey, thing, great changes don't happen fast. He knows that we have to be a little bit patient. He knows that it's not all about right now, right here. He knows the how to create the changes that we want to make and how to make, make these changes happen in a most smooth and sensible and at the same time um, uh, keeping our passion alive and keeping, keeping things interesting. We need to represent, oh, this is uh, an interesting card that fell out as well with the reading. So this is the, the two of cups reversed and if you see the two of cups is the very much about intimate sharing and healing that intimacy is yourself with yourself so if you have issues sharing intimately with yourself go for it and this doesn't mean the obvious <laughs> what this means is you intimately getting in contact with your feelings and your emotions and really going inside and really feeling what um, what's going on on an emotional level inside of yourself if you are feeling like you're really open and want to jump into more intimate relationships with other people, then remember those intimate relationships are excuses for having the mirror, the healing mirror in front of your face so that you can see more of who you are, so that you can heal more of who you are, so that you can have this psychic x-ray of another person in front of you who's going to come, turn around and go, yes, look, I can see into your psyche and this is what you need to to heal and when we invite people into our life there will be all sorts of triggers there will be all sorts of other interesting growth potential that's available for us but we need to recognize that it's our inner connection with our intimacy that's super important and all relationships that we invite into our life have the more altruistic purpose of helping us heal any traumas that we might have as far as intimacy is concerned and helping us heal so that we can become more intimate with ourselves we can know ourselves great gain more self-awareness more self-love and understand that who we are and and what we are here to do and how we can play with love and light and truth and all of that stuff i hope this has been an interesting message have a fantastic day